Welcome into this week's edition of the Recruiting Roundup powered by Rock and Refuel Varsity. Scout.com's Jason Jewell. I'm Jared Cohn. We bring the latest in Arizona high school football recruiting, and there's no more busier time to do it than right now. Signing day now just days away from coming, and there were a ton of commitments and some big-time offers as well. We're going to get through as many as we possibly can, Jason, because there were so many, but we start with the commitments. NAU added again with some great local prospects. They landed two last Last weekend. Yeah, I think they're already doing a great job. They've got Mountain Ridge linebacker Billy McEwen already committed. Jamison Pruitt, the big offensive tackle out of Sandra Day O'Connor, already committed as well. And he had, he picked the Lumberjacks over some FBS offers. They did the same thing again, getting uh, two other very good commitments. Tristan Vance, a linebacker out of Hamilton, committed while he was on his official visit this weekend. And then Derek Hall committed as well, the, the do-it-all kid uh, out of uh, Tucson Saguaro. Any use recruiting him as like a safety hybrid outside linebacker, but I think they're getting an absolute steal. Just like Pruitt, he had FBS offers from Wyoming and from San Jose State. But keep in mind, though, Hall has said he is planning on visiting UNLV next weekend, so the Lumberjacks going to have to fight till the very end to, st to, to secure that signing from Hall. No question. Well, what is what NAU did last year with the great 2014 class kind of helped with the momentum, the, the momentum for this 2015? You know, they've done a better job recruiting in state probably over the last three to five years, st you know, getting and stealing some very good prospects. They made the playoffs two years ago, and then last season, you have that momentum beating a team like Eastern Washington, who is so heavily ranked or so highly ranked. And they're just continuing to focus on some of those good in state players, and I think it's paying dividends for them. So congrats to those two young men for committing to NAU. As Jason said, we'll see. It'll be a fight towards the finish with Derek Hall, and we'll keep you posted on all that. Another commitment came down this weekend. Michael Peoples, very talented player out of Awa Freya, makes his commitment. Yeah, committed to San Diego State, and he's actually going to enroll early. He's already graduated from high school. Kind of a late deal. San Diego State hadn't really been recruiting him. Got in touch with him just early last week. By the middle of the week, he was visiting the school, and by uh, Sunday night, he commits, and and then by in a couple days, he will be at the school and, and be a college student. So good deal for Michael Peoples picking uh, the Aztecs over offers from UC Davis and Army. Yeah, what a fast, fluid situation. So congrats to Michael. Now to some of the offers. Big one that came down last week, Connor Murphy, the junior, soon-to-be senior, talented player, Trent Murphy's younger brother out of Brophy, got an offer from a very familiar person in the household, in the Murphy household. Yeah, it certainly doesn't surprise me, but Jim Harbaugh got the, got the job at Michigan, turns around and offered Connor just a junior, like you mentioned, six foot seven, 250 pounds. Scout, we already have him as a four-star player. This is just the first of, not even the first, but he is going to get uh, double digit offers very, very quickly. And the next offer, Trent Gilbert over at Higley High School, a talented wide receiver, picks up a very substantial offer. Yeah, he got his first FBS offer not too long ago from Navy, turns around and gets his second from San Jose State. They like that he could be a punter or a wide receiver. He had a fantastic year uh, at both positions, so they think that he could do either spot at San Jose State. So congrats to Trent Gilbert, big-time offer from San Jose State, the talented player out at Higley. Now some more offers to get to. There were a ton over the last week. We're going to get through as many as we possibly can starting with two players offered by Eastern New Mexico. The first, Tyler Lynch out of Williamsfield, and then Shannon Burton, the quarterback, defensive back out at Moon Valley, picks up offer from Eastern New Mexico as well. Yeah, then two offensive linemen from Notre Dame Prep, Jacob Gallagher and Shane Sustick, were offered by St. Mary's. One of the most talented defensive backs and special teams players in the state the last couple years at Hamilton, Morris Croma. He picks up an offer from Montana State Northern, and they also offered this week Brandon Yamamoto out at Basha. And how about the backfield at Mountain Point High School? Paul Lucas committed to Arizona State. Brandon Leonard has an offer right now from New Mexico State. Now their third guy, Tyreek Cross, was offered by Wayne State. Then we look at Willow Canyon athlete running back uh, Marcus Singleton was offered by Valley City, which is a top 25 in AIA program. That's it for this week's edition of the Recruiting Roundup. Still lots more news to get to over the next couple weeks. Signing day approaching really fast. JasonJewelScout.com. I'm Jared Cohen. This has been the Recruiting Roundup powered by Rock and Refuel Varsity on Sports360AZ.com.